A uh, common method used to uh, see if your engine's ignition system is producing the producing spark is to uh, remove the spark plug from the engine and um, reconnect the plug to the spark plug wire. Gr ground the uh, ground electrode of the, of the spark plug to the engine and pull it over to see and see if you can see spark jumping the uh, gap in the spark plug. The problem with this method of checking for spark is it takes about 2,000 volts to jump a 30,000 uh, spark plug gap with a plug removed from the engine. Uh, when you reinstall the plug, uh, it can take as high as 8,000 volts uh, to jump that same 30,000 uh, spark plug gap. So it's possible to get a spark with a plug removed and uh, not get a spark under operating conditions. So this really isn't a reliable method of uh, checking for spark. Another method used to check the engine for spark is to remove the uh, spark plug wire, um, remove the cap, expose the, uh, the metal piece of the uh, spark plug wire at the end, um, then hold it 3 sixteenths of an inch away from the spark plug, which would be about, uh, about right there, and then turn the engine over and look for a blue or orange and blue uh, spark. The problem with using this method to check for spark is it's extremely hard to hold this at exactly 3 sixteenths of an inch and, and uh, pull the engine over at the same time. Also it's easy to get shocked doing it this way. However, um, it is more reliable than the previous method and uh, it doesn't require purchasing any special tools. Another method of uh, checking for engine spark is to purchase a special tool from Briggs & Stratton. Um, it's called a spark plug tester. Uh, you got a little window here where you should see a spark that will jump this uh, air gap here. Uh, this part of this tester is connected to the uh, spark plug cap and this part can either be grounded to the engine or attached to the end of the spark plug. There's quite a few different ways you can use the Briggs & Stratton spark plug tester. Uh, one way is to remove the uh, spark plug cap, insert this part of the tester into the cap. Then you can either ground the tester to the uh, engine or you can attach it to the end of the spark plug. Uh, it's easier if you if you ground it to the uh, engine and remove the spark plug because it's easier to turn over. Um, and then you look for a spark inside of this window. It doesn't matter what color the spark is. As long as you see a spark, then uh, you know your ignition is good. So what I'm going to do now is remove this uh, spark plug and, and uh, do a test using the tester tool. Another useful way of using this Briggs & Stratton spark plug tester is to uh, remove your spark plug cap, insert this part of the tool into the cap, and attach the ground into the spark plug. You can actually start the engine this way and observe the spark inside of this window while the engine is running. Let's say that your engine is running rough and you suspect that it's the ignition system. Uh, what you can do is connect a tool like this, start the engine, and view the spark in this window it should be a repetitive consistent spark. If, you, if there's moments when there's no spark then you know that you've got a, an ignition problem. Um, another thing that ha can happen is let's say your engine runs fine when it's cold but when it heats up um, it dies. Uh, you can connect a tool like this, run the engine, and when the engine dies you can view this window and, and look for a spark. If you don't see a spark then you know that the, the reason your engine is not running correctly is because of the ignition. Um, so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and start this engine and show you what the spark looks like on a, uh, a good running engine. The uh, Briggs & Stratton part number for this tool is 19368. Um, Hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.